All right, well, I want to get you to your first assembly instruction ASAP, and so here we go. First assembly instruction is NOP, or a NOOP, no operation. It doesn't take any registers, doesn't take any values, it doesn't do anything. It's just no operation. So frequently you will see the NOP assembly instruction added to, for instance, pad or line bytes. So you might see it between functions inside of some compiled assembly, specifically because Intel has optimization guidance that has to do with like, oh, the functions would start on, you know, a 16-byte aligned address or whatever, 8-byte aligned address. Uh, and so the compiler will stick in some NOOP instructions in the middle. They are not actually going to be executed. They're just there to pattern line things. In some other architectures, sometimes this might be used to just delay time. So it just takes up some cycle time and does nothing. Also, it's worth knowing that NOOP actually has some value to attackers when they try to make their exploits more reliable, but that's going to be covered in a different class. All right, so some late breaking news and late breaking to me anyways. I went, you know, many, many years before I knew this fact, so I wanted to give it to you early. A little bit of interesting trivia that the one byte NOOP instruction is an alias mnemonic for the exchange EAX EAX instruction or RAX RAX now in our 64 bit extended architecture. So I never actually looked in the assembly manual for NOOP because there's no point, right? And I just told you what a NOOP does. Once you know that a NOOP does nothing, you know that it's really just there for padding or time delay. There's no real point to look in the assembly manual. But I had an attendee of a previous class point this out to me that he had looked in the in, uh, assembly manual and that there was this interesting bit of trivia. So Exchange is not actually part of this class, not officially something you're going to learn, but it's pretty simple. It just exchanges the value between two registers. So whatever's in the register on this side, exchanges with that, exchanges with that. So, you know, it's pretty easy to understand what exchange does. And if you're exchanging EAX with EAX or RAX or RAX, you exchange your register with itself, clearly that does absolutely nothing. And just a brief note about the NOOP instruction. Usually when people talk about NOOP, they're referring to hex 90. The canonical version of NOOP is a single byte hex 90. But in reality, Intel actually specifies that there can be different forms of NOOP between one and nine bytes long. And a little bit in this class, we're actually going to see an example of a multi-byte NOOP that appears in one of the Hello World examples. So there you go, we're going to have this accumulating count of assembly instructions you know as you go along, and then boom, you know no op, and ta-da, you now know 6% of all assembly instructions found in a web browser. Pretty cool.